Hi everyone, this is a follow-up on our Creative Drawings May webinar about lettering. You can download the recording at www.creative-drawings.com and then go to the Learning Center and Webinar Information. When you click here, you're going to see our previous webinars as well as the dates for our upcoming webinars. Our next webinar will be June 16th. You'll also notice, like for the May 19th webinar on lettering, there is a little informational sheet that you can click and download to print out, as well as the click here area so you can go ahead and download the webinar recording. So just click here and download it to your computer. Now the follow-up is how to use the divide and direction tools with the lettering. So with the word hello, I did some changes that you're going to see here in just a moment. So let's go ahead and get started and click New and get a new graphic. And then we are going to choose to do Embroidery Normal, so a normal embroidery on cotton fabric and a light color so you can see as we're creating what's going on. And then just click Finish. And let's go to the Edit Text tool and then I'm simply going to type in hello and choose a, a brighter color so you can see it a little bit better and then the rectangular selection. Now when I zoom in you're going to notice very quickly I think that this hello looks a little bit different than the previous hello that I showed you and they both started out the same so let's see what we can do to make this hello look a little bit nicer. Now the first thing is I want to work with each letter individually. So to do that I'm simply going to do a right click with my mouse and break apart. And now each letter is its own entity and so I can work with that. And the first thing that you can see very quickly is the letter E didn't quite turn out right. Now sometimes if you've ever worked with letters and this has happened, you think, oh, I just can't use the letter. Well, what you can do, and it's actually really easy, is to go to the Edit Shape Nodes tool on the left-hand side. So the Edit Shape Nodes tool. And then I'm going to zoom in on the letter E. And look what happens when I just simply move one of the nodes. Now, you can try, you may have to try a couple different nodes to make sure that it's going to be what you want it to look like. But by simply moving that little bit, that node just a little bit, I got the my letter filled in, which is what I wanted. But also, it didn't change the shape of or the look of the letter very much at all. So I can use that. Works great. So don't be afraid. If you have a word and one letter doesn't turn out, just go ahead, right click and break apart, get to that Edit Shape Nodes, and try adjusting some of the notes so you can get your letter to come back in just like we did with the letter E. So the next thing we want to do is work on the letter L's. Now if you notice on the letter L, I'm just going to choose a rectangular selection again. The little foot of the letter doesn't look as I want it to. I want it to be closer to what the letter H, this the right side of the letter H looks like. So to do that I'm simply going to choose the Directions tool. And what that's going to do when I click and drag a little line, so I'm just clicking and drag a little line, what I did is I just changed the angle of my stitching. And then you can put several of these in one letter. So let's go ahead and do that. And look what just happened it changed the letters look an awful lot. So now I've got this great um, and I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit more so it's going to look very similar to the side of the letter H which is what I wanted it to look like. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Now in this case just because of the angle that I chose the creative drawings decided that this should be a fill instead of a satin but I can override that so I'm going to click back on satin come over here and do the same thing with the toe on my letter L and let's do this Oop, there it went again 
so change that back to satin. It's really super easy to adjust between satin and fill, so don't be afraid to uh, to do that. The program is saying what it thinks should be best, but you may want to adjust that just like I did there. So now my L's are set. It makes it real simple. The last thing I want to do with this letter H is you'll notice that the cross of the letter H on my final product here is in front of both sides of the letter H. Well that can be done very simply by using the divide tool. So let's click on divide. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit and again this time I'm going to click and drag another line. Notice this time the line is green for the divide. Look what happened. If I click and drag again what happened is my letter H, the cross of the letter H is now in front of the two sides which really easy to do that again with that uh, divide tool because it brings things to the front. Sometimes you may have to put a, another line up at the top here if you wish. It, uh, it really depends a little bit on your letter or what you're dividing. But in my case I really like the way this looks just coming around this way. The final step is just to use the directional tool again and I want to make the angle of this stitching just a little bit different. So notice how I'm bringing that and that angle is now changing so it's going with the direction kind of of the, um, the cross in front so I like that a little bit better. So now that I have my word hello all changed, it was you can see how easy it was by using the divide tool to for like the cross on the letter H as well as the direction tools for the letter L. And don't forget about the edit shape nodes tool because again a lot of times we see a letter isn't quite right and we think the whole font is off we can't use it well just try adjusting sometimes you can't but a lot of times you can by just adjusting those edit shape notes ever so slightly to uh, to get that lettering to show up so it really is a great way to work with lettering so we hope you've enjoyed this addition to our May lettering webinar. Don't forget that you can download the webinar recordings at www.creative-drawings.com. Go to the Learning Center and then Webinar Information. And then you can learn all about, if you download that recording, you can learn more about all the great lettering included in Creative Drawings, where embroidery magic begins.